So it's, uh, it's kind of shoulders and tricep day today. Got some overhead pressing mainly. Uh, and you know, even though it's the bodybuilding phase, I'm still selecting certain movements that are gonna give me the best bang for my buck. So all the exercises I'll be doing, I'll be doing you know, three sets, two warm-up sets, uh, and then a top set of kind of eight, hopefully eight to 12 reps. Uh, it might drop down to six in certain movements, but I'll still just be going maxly for that one set. Um, and then the exercise we got, we'll kick off with a military press, nice big compound movement, get loads of um, muscles recruit for that, big bang for your buck exercise. I'll keep that in even if I'm doing kind of this kind of lower end of training during my hypertrophy phase, just because it's good to maintain some standing overhead pressing, uh, just for shoulder range and that movement pattern is very key to keep to keep going, especially when you go to uh, into strongman comp for everything, standing and pressing. We'll move on to some dumbbell shoulder press, uh, seated. Then we'll go into some kind of cable lateral work and some more classical bodybuilding moves. Dumbbell lateral raises, front raises, reverse flies. Uh, and then on to triceps, we'll be doing dips, another big bank up movement. Everyone should do some dips, they're fantastic. Uh, and then I think we've got some, uh, some skull crushes, some press downs, and we'll finish with some 20 rep close grip bench press with just a real lightweight, trying to maintain a constant tension on the muscle. So yeah, let's get to it. Last week numbers in here, that was my total volume last week, so we're trying to beat that this week. We're trying to beat all these total loads as well on each individual exercise. <laughs> So Gus is just uh, complimenting my scapula retraction. Uh, it's really more of a necessity than anything. You know, I need to keep that barbell over my midline to get around this big old head of mine. I'm gonna have to lean back a wee bit. So I end up leaning back and then to kind of uh, compensate for the fact I've got some limited range in my shoulders now, I really just push through. So I end up getting a little bit of kind of uh, hyper extension from my back, which isn't ideal, but it's key to keep the barbell as close to a midline as possible. The further you push it out, the harder it is for the movement. Drive it straight up, it's a lot easier. Close to point from A to B, right? Simple. Two more kilos, little small gains on pressing for me is real good. Doesn't have to be massive jumps each week. Especially on your weaker events. Be happy with a little progress. I'm gonna try and isolate the down a little bit more. There we go for some lateral raises behind the back. I just find this variation just kind of puts a little bit more weight onto my medial deltoid as opposed to my anterior. Uh, just trying to isolate each individual muscle now in the next two exercises. No work, uh, back onto a kind of bigger movement for triceps, so.
It's all in the pirouette. <laughs> the secret, the big delt. <laughs> Uh, that's delts pretty much done. Uh, we start off with a nice big global compound movement in the overhead military press. Moved on some dumbbell work, uh, seated. Then went into some more isolation work into some uh, cable lateral raises, trying to get the medial delt a bit more. Obviously, the overhead presses it quite a bit of anterior delt in there as well. So it was important to move back into the into the medial delt to make sure we're keeping everything nice and even, uh, keep that symmetry going. Uh, symmetry is important not just for bodybuilders, it's important for us from an injury prevention point of view. So symmetry is key guys. Uh, after that we then finished up with some higher reps. So I did front raise, lateral raise, reverse flies, a triple set, all sets of 10 on that. Just get a real kind of big pump in the muscle, get kind of a bit, bit more metabolic stress in there, not good up a bit of lactic acid, which is obviously going to have a big stimulus to the body. Moving on to triceps now. And triceps for me, I'm training triceps twice a week, uh, you know, indirectly or directly. Um, and it's so important for me because that's where I'm weakest. Uh, we're still playing catch up with the big boys. You know, triceps are so important for that last little bit of lockout, especially on log presses, axles, Viking press, dumbbell. It's so, so important, you know. I'm quite an explosive lifter in terms of my push pressing, but if you haven't got the triceps to finish off that lift, then it's useless, it's pointless, you know. So for me, I'll train my triceps as much as I can, as much as I can recover between sessions. And that starts off with some dips now, then move on to again, onto some more isolation exercises. So when we're loading triceps, it's important to do it for all different range of motion, very loads of different movements. So we'll try and hit all kind of three heads of the tricep as evenly as you can. Uh, press downs are a great one to really focus on it. You know, it is a classic bodybuilding movement. You can kind of feel the tricep working a lot easier. It's easy to isolate. But from the main point of view, the important, one of the important reasons for training triceps is just to maintain tendon health. You know, get some loading through your, your tendon, especially in the tricep, just to make sure they don't go ping. Because uh, especially when you start building a muscle up, it can sometimes get a lot stronger than the tendon itself. That's when you get tendon ruptures. So constant loading on them, don't neglect them ever. Keep it all balanced.
So this is like a real shit bit of the workout we're doing like 20 reps. So low weight, just trying to get a big muscle pump, loads of blood into the muscle, take out every last little bit of energy, increase the fatigue as much as I can. But a nice little finisher, go away, triceps really trashed, then then recover again for uh, Friday. 20, 20, 20. 20, 20, 20, in theory. Last set's gonna be a grind. Uh, just with the, the whole cumulative thing, you know, doing it first up, no problem. Doing 20 or three sets of 20, at the end of your work after all the other tricep and delt work is a killer, you know. Definitely worth a try if you haven't done it already. session done, push session number one for the week. Uh, we focus on kind of shoulders, delts, and uh, some tricep work as well. Uh, start off with our nice big movements, the stuff that's still kind of applicable for strongman, uh, just a simple mixed bar standing barbell press. And we worked all the way down through some simple exercises down to kind of our real isolation muscles, uh, isolation exercises for the triceps, etc. Finished off with some high rep work just to really get a bit of metabolic fatigue in the triceps. Uh, tomorrow's a rest day for me. I guess my kind of main take home message for that session is don't be afraid to push the volume at certain points of the year and make sure you try and get symmetry in your whole body. You know, make sure you get enough volume through those triceps, those smaller muscles, so you don't get any kind of asymmetries between your pushing and your pulling muscles. It's key to maintain that symmetry to avoid any kind of muscle imbalances and injury. So if you like what you saw here, make sure you check out my other videos, see how the other strong men are doing their hypertrophy sessions. Any questions, just drop me a message on Instagram at Adam Bishop Strongman.